Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 979, distribute coins in a binary tree. And at the end of the video, I have shared few problems which are similar to this problem so you can understand this problem even more clearly. Now let's dive into the problem. In this problem, we are given the root of a binary tree and in this problem, say we have three nodes, right? So this tree is given in such a way that the number of coins within this tree is equal to the number of nodes. So there are three nodes and the total coins in this tree is also three. Now, what do we have to do? If you see this node itself is having three coins, but that is not the goal. The goal is to make sure that each node will be having just one coin, right? So now what do we have to do? We have to move the coins. There are three coins and we have to move the coin to the nodes that are not having the coin. So this is having three coins. So we'll be moving one from this node to this node. So how many moves does it require? It requires one move and we'll also be moving. So once it has been moved, uh, th this will have one and this will have two, all right? Now, again, we have to move one more coin from here to here. And once we move this again, uh, this all of them will have one coin each and finally what is the total number of moves that we took we took two moves all right and it is given in the problem at a time you can just move one coins right say for example uh, it has two coins and say this is having zero and uh, say this is having zero coins one coin and this is having zero coins you cannot directly move from here to here you can move just one step at a time and again, it has to go from here to here. That is, you can move coin, just one coin, one step at a time. Now, let's look at a similar example. Again, the same thing. It has zero, so we have to move one coin from here to here. So the number of moves that will be required is one move. Now, let's look at the approach for this problem. The idea here is, to take sufficiently big example so that we will be able to solve it and we will also come up with the approach for this problem right if you count the total number of nodes here the total number of nodes here is seven now forget about everything let's look at this problem right now if you are standing here and if you look at your right side let me draw a different color and if you look at your left and right side what is the thing that you will observe you will observe that this is having a total coin of five it has five coins but the number of nodes is equal to three right similarly on this side the number of coins it has is two however the number of nodes it has is three so what do we what can we conclude here we can conclude that this tree is having two extra coins two extra coins and this tree is having one less coin right so this tree is having two extra coins and this tree is having one less coin so two coins have to be moved from this to this now can we move it directly no if at all if you want to move from any left tree to any right tree the only way that you will be able to possible to move is you have to reach this node for sure and only then the transfer can happen so what is the idea that we are using here? The idea is we will calculate how many coins are there on the left side and how many coins are there on the right side. And we have to uh, transpose them from the left side to the right side. Now it's okay. We have to transpose, but how do we calculate the number of moves, right? So let's look into this. Now we did this on this node right now let's do the same thing on this node now this node forget about this node now let's look at the left child and the right child so how many does left have left is having three that is it should be having one but it is having plus two nodes so it is having two extra coins two extra coins and this node is having minus one or one less coin so the only way to move this two extra coins is through the parent node. So what we will do, we will move these two extra coins to this parent node. So what is the number of moves? The number of moves to move these extra coins is two. And also the number of steps to move this one less coin is minus plus of, uh, or you can say math 
dot absolute value of minus y. So if you want to just transfer in this node, what is the number of steps required? The number of steps required is three. All right. So similarly, once still you did that, this node will now be having one. This node will also be having, but this node will still be having, we transpose two more. So it will be having four minus one that is equal to three. So it still will be transferring two more coins here, two more coins here. So again, since you can just transfer in one step, you should include that as well. Now I ho hope you have understood the problem. You will understand it even better after seeing this pseudocode, right? So first we will have a global variable moves. So this will calculate the total number of moves, and we will have a helper function also called as post order traversal. Right. So the approach here is very simple. We will first calculate the total number of coins on the left side and the total number of coins on the right side. Right. So what is the number of moves? The number of moves is simply the addition of what is more on the left side and what is less on the right side. Right. So we will be taking the absolute values and we'll be adding both of them. And in while returning, don't forget, you have to keep one coin at the parent node as well. Right. So we'll be adding left node and you will be adding right node and you will also be adding whatever is there in the node. But don't forget, you have to subtract this minus one. Why? Because the node should have one coin at least. And finally, we can call this main method POT of root and finally you will be returning moves and there are few similar problems that you can solve this is again a medium level problem and this is a hard level problem which will help you to understand this problem even more deeper and in the description i have mentioned a telegram community link which is of 400 plus people so do consider joining the telegram community thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe